Hey guys, it's Jordan. I'm here with Monica from Pro Marine Supplies, and we've been doing a lot of videos with them for the past couple days, but we wanted to do a project just together. together. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna do a dirty pour. This is gonna be a lot Exciting. of fun. It's gonna be so good. Let's get going. Popping on a west side, cause it's West Day. I just made a thousand, blew it in your face. That's pretty much, oh, look yeah. at that. It's you dry? Much dry. All right. No, Not you bad. had those before. <laughs> I did right. have those before. Right. She's 100% right. So start getting your acrylics. Got it. So I'm okay. I'm using acrylics. This is just regular paint. This is hobby shop paint. Yes. Right? And then we're also going to use the Alumalite yeah. um, powder pigment. And Alumalite makes it so awesome to work with these because literally all your artwork just comes to life. She's almost done and I'm struggling to get the lid off of one of my pieces of paint right now. I'll help. Do you want right, to we'll put take... the paint in there then? Yeah. And then is you that the it. only one I don't have done? Nope. Switch these. Here you go. No okay. problema. Okay. The yeah. consistency you're looking for is actually like a creamer. So you don't Ooh. want it too watery and you don't want it too thick. Don't over mix by the way the Floetrol. Do you see that? There's a design there already. There's a, so you, you want this here. I'll, I'll show this you to you guys here. You want the swirls. You want that. Don't over mix it, it's like pancake batter. The acrylics are all mixed up, they're a little swirly still, and now we're mixing up the powders. Make sure when you're doing this powder that you actually scrape sides, stir bottom. Right, then if you just mix it forever, don't you end up with flat pancakes? Yes. Ugh. When you're pouring, um, create height because you want it to go different depths. So pour up and down, but before we even put them together, you remember what we have to do to create those cells? I honestly, is it alcohol? No. no what no. do we do? We are doing the silicone, and he's oh, going right. to add two to three drops. So two to three drops. So just two drops in every single one of these? Yeah, two to three drops. So one, maybe you two. do two, and then this <sighs> one you may do three, and that one you may do two, alternate. See, the problem with this is remembering what number I just did. Make sure it's thoroughly mixed. So I'm going to give you an empty cup. Okay, let so me grab can, an empty cup for yep. us. So it's just one of these little cups. We've mixed up a lot of materials Yeah, so we far. can reuse it afterwards, right. eh? And now you can start making your combination and there is no right or wrong. Your creativity is endless here. Monica Mark and I have spent a couple days together now doing some filming. It feels like there's a right and wrong though. No, no, you know? no, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. I'm going blue in the base, you know? Blue in the base. Got a blue match, base. got a match with a head today. So go ahead and pour. How, okay, so I've done like this much. Is that too much or is no, that keep that's, going? No, you can pour maybe half of that. Okay. The second one that you pour, what I want you to do is something like this. So you see that? Put it from up here. Like okay. create and you'll see it right there. Maybe the camera can grab that. Just pour, 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 pour. So look, it's a little, look, look, a little look what's happening. No, not chunky, but do you see what's happening? It's creating its own. Got it. Make sure you leave a little bit of room for my white in there okay. too. Okay, oh, that yeah. one's a little more thicker. Maybe that's good. Okay. Oh, you're going all the way to the top. There we go. See that? Sweet. So all right, now, I'm going to show this to them real fast. Yep. All right, take a look. This is, let's say, my cup of the dirty pour. Put the canvas on the cup. Turn it around and let it sit there maybe for a minute or so. I just got a little nervous because I want to know what's in here. Okay. All right. So remember what you do is do this okay. and do that. You can do it. Do this and then do that. Yes. Put Straight it, forward. Put, here put we the go. canvas. Just hold it like that. And now holding just it no in the going center. back now. All right. And then flip it over and then try to not to move the cup. It's going to hang upside down. You can do it. Let me get out of the way. <laughs> So much trust right now from her. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, here we go. One of those e tres. Dale, just don't touch. All right, so now when you take it off, this go. is how you're gonna take the cup off. Kay. This is your cup, and literally, I want you to lift it very slowly. If you like, you can actually zigzag it or maneuver it wherever you like. Mm. Okay, so go for it. Here we go. The slow lift with the zigzag. All right, lift, 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 lift now. There we go. That's. That's it. Now we just back off. Okay, and look at those cells. Oh my goodness! Yes! You have to come see this. You did an amazing job. So I'm the gonna, best teacher. We're gonna help move it along. It literally looks like a ninja turtle. Yes! 
We're, not, we're gonna actually, do you see that? So we have more room for another pour. So we can do another on top yeah, of this? Yeah, absolutely. This is so cool. I feel like I'm in high school art class again. And the cell mist on the top, yes! Basically what we're doing is just doing the edges right now, taking care of that. We're making use of the colors and just using like finger painting, pulling the colors so we cover the whole canvas. And you're doing a great job. She's so encouraging. Yes. <laughs> Everybody can do this. Everybody can do this. We have another step. You would let this dry. Okay. And most likely you're going to let it dry overnight. We want to make sure that it's fully dried. I didn't know what we were headed into when you said we should do a dirty pour. The dirty pour. It's now PG. I know. It's nothing dirty. It's PG. That's no, it. Family it's friendly. PG. <laughs> Guys, you got to go check out Pearl Marine. Stuff like this, art like this, they are filled with ideas over there and they have the epoxy that you can get so easily too. Plus, if you have an issue, if you have any concerns, guess who you get to talk to? Now we're gonna lose Monica and the rest of the team. They have to go back to Florida, but I get to stick around and I get to finish up this dirty pour and cover it with their epoxy. So let's go, go do that right now. Okay, Pro Marine's gone. They're back home in Florida. And Monica and I started that dirty pour and I got to finish it. So let's get going on that. How's that? You guys enjoyed that, I hope. Nightmare. So this is what Monica and I did. It's dried. This is just the acrylic paint that we used. And then a little bit of alcohol spritz to get these cells is what we are told that they are called, which is really, really cool. But this is just kind of a, a painting. We don't want it to get scratched or scuffed or anything like that. So this is where we use epoxy. This is our stuff. We've been going through it because we, we've been doing a lot of fun projects. So this is my favorite part, one to one by volume. You guys know this hopefully by now. All right, so I'm gonna pour B in first. B's a little bit thinner. That way I don't put A, which is thicker, all along the sides and it's harder to scrape against. So I'm gonna start with B and I'm going to, I'm gonna find out how much we're gonna use here. All right, so that is the right amount. I'm just at the two liter mark now, so those are perfectly even. So I got this really cheap watch here that gives me a stopwatch, and I'm gonna go for probably about six to eight minutes. There we go, timer started, mixing begins. All right, so I actually mixed this up to 10 minutes. Again, it's a little bit colder in here than you would probably like it to be if you were doing this. So just a little bit longer mixing, but you can tell there's no more swirls. Still has that little bit of a blue tint, but again, when I lift it up on the stir stick, clear as day. All right, mixed up, ready to go. This is a nice, simple one. So all I have to do, pour this on, spread it out just a tiny bit, and then level it out. Here we go. All right, so another thing that you can do, you have to be a little bit gentle with this, but this, this is a makeshift trowel. Stone Coat guys sell these as well. They're metal ones, they're a little bit nicer, but this is a painting, so we're gonna be gingerly. This is a plastic one, so it's not as intense, and I've actually just gotten one of those paint spreaders and just clipped out little squares. So if I take this, I'm holding it really loosely here, and I can just gently move the product this way, and it will help me spread that out. All right, torch. I got the convenient cart here. Good to go. Then we're just gonna stay a little bit above. Don't shove this in there. You don't, if you're up here, it's not gonna do anything. So just find, I like to do about four inches maybe from the canvas or so. All right, that's it. It's pretty good. Now we just have to wait for this to dry and then maybe take some photos of it or something for you guys. Monica, thank you so much for coming and showing me how to do this. It was easy to finish up on my own too. That means you're a great teacher. Guys, if you wanna try this, try it. It's not hard, it's actually so much fun. This is a great project for you, for your family, if you're trying to do maybe some art pieces for a show or maybe just for a craft fair. 
go for it. Grab the amazing ClearCast epoxy to finish it up and make sure it's clean, and we'll see you guys next time.